Another big visit weekend for Nebraska. Hi, Sean Callahan with HuskerOnline.com. Before I get to the visitor list, make sure you like, follow, subscribe to us on Husker Online right here. Also, check us out at HuskerOnline.com. We've got a great membership special going on right now. Dollars get you access to the site until August 31st. But let's get down now to the visitor list. First and foremost, you'll have four visitors from the class of 2023 all here in Lincoln this weekend. And when you break down this list, I would say Nebraska is in a fairly good position with all four of them. Let's start with the high school teammates from Arlington Martin. You've got tight end Ishmael Smith Flores and then wide receiver Jeremiah Charles. Both similar in the sense that neither played football as juniors in high school. They came out as basketball players that came out as seniors for Bob Wager. Well, Bob Wager is now Nebraska's tight ends coach. And you look at Smith Flores, he had Iowa, he had Rutgers on him. He kind of put things on hold. I would say Nebraska is in a very good position this weekend with Smith Flores. Then you look at Jeremiah Charles, a dynamic three-sport athlete at a 6A school in Texas. Um, He's an elite triple jumper that can go almost 50 feet in that jump and he'll probably look to do track if he goes to Nebraska as well as football. He's a standout basketball player, went out for football this year, a very explosive athlete with a vertical jump that approaches 40 inches. Uh, Once again, I think Nebraska had a good spot here as well, being his first offer and obviously the Bob Wager connection. Then you've got four-star wide receiver Demetrius Bell, out of Nashville, Tennessee. You know, he was somebody that had Michigan State and Kentucky early on him in the process. And now, um, you know, things appear to be open. I think Nebraska heading into the weekend is the team to beat. You just wonder what the whole story is there because Bell, a very talented player, he's been available this entire time. Nebraska will get him in here this weekend. And then finally from 2023, you'll have Sua Loftu out of St. John Bosco in California, one of the top high school programs in the country. 6'4", 285 pounds, at one time looked to be a strong lean to the Washington Huskies. Nebraska having him in here this late, I would say, is a very good sign for the Huskers. I think the question is, how much room does Nebraska have? Can they take all four? Will they take all four? I think two is a safe number. Three could probably happen. You wonder if they can actually take all four of these guys with where their numbers are at. And finally, from the class of 2024, there's going to be one very high-valued prospect on campus Top 100 prospect Aaron Hampton out of Texas, 5'10", 175 pounds. He's got everybody. Right now, his RPM and on three favors both Texas and Alabama. But the Huskers have kind of an interesting thing going with the way their staff is now built in Texas. Then you've also got the Dylan Riola angle, as there's been a lot of communication with these two on Twitter. And you wonder how this visit this weekend is going to go with Aaron Hampton. Make sure you stay on HuskerOnline.com. We'll keep you up to date with all of the visitor news and more. For HuskerOnline.com, I'm Sean Callahan.